What's up guys, it's ReapCS here, and today I'm back with a blast from the past. I'm going to be talking about Windows XP password issues. Uh, you might ask, Reap, why would you have trouble with Windows XP? Well, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of Windows actually, um, but it's still out there. Windows XP is still used uh, more than we might like to think, even though yes, it's deprecated, it's not supported, it's not recommended. Uh, and to make it short, there's a lot of legacy software which may be running, uh, it also be, could be running in a VM, which might be a little safer depending how they've got it set up. Uh, and we'll just say, God help us if it's really on the network. Uh, that also happens sometimes. But anyway, uh, we can have another video for how we can try and secure these uh, zombie machines that maybe need to be on the network. Um, but to hear the scenario uh, where you maybe have a, a PC that's whether it's yours or it's at work, uh, it's running something important and or you just need to get logged in. You want to see what's on it or you just forgot the password and someone needs to get working. And so the best way is to actually remove the password. I'm going to be talking about a solution I created called the Windows Geeks Password Removal Tools today. Um, so the reason you might run into the situation, like I said, maybe you have an old PC, whether it's at home, whether it's even at work, <laughs> uh, it could be in uh, the corporate world. You don't know where you'll run across one of these dinosaurs, guys, but I assure you at some point you might. And if you do, it might be a system that no one happens to know the password for because it's just that old. Um, very common. So what can you do? I can use this solution here, guys. And the reason why I think it's very important with XP to be very careful with the solution that you find, uh, a lot of the other products that I've tested, I've seen out there, they just don't actually support XP for a few reasons. Uh, number one, a lot of the old XP machines are going to be using old hardware. Okay, so a lot of the solutions are, you know, they're advertising that works for every version of Windows, which maybe is kind of true but number one the issue you might run into a lot of them because they have like a full GUI they might use way more RAM than these old machines have so they'll be impossible to use in that case they also may not support old CPUs and old chipsets okay also very common um, so that's why you have to really make sure you have a product that actually fully supports your machine and so I've been through this before. That's why this product was created with that in mind. Okay. The other thing I think that's also, you know, a, a huge benefit over other solutions. I've seen a lot of other YouTube videos out there showing some different solutions. Uh, some of these solutions, you boot it up and you have to click like 10 different windows, uh, 10 different uh, options. You have to click so many things. You have to manually click the SAM file, click the user. Uh, do you want to reset it? Do you want to remove the password? Uh, this solution, as I'll, I'll show you guys coming up here, it just does everything everything for you. Um, it, you know, it's something that you would burn and boot or a load to a USB, assuming your computer is not uh, too old to support that. Uh, but normally with an old XP system, you'll probably be booting by CD. Uh, that's because a lot of old systems don't support USB booting at that point. Okay, but the point is though, you're gonna boot it up. Uh, our software here, it just actually boots everything up and does everything for you. As you'll see in a bit, uh, you don't have to click anything. You don't have to search for any password files. It does it all for you and removes the password and unlocks everything every single account. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, I'll show you here in a bit, and hopefully this makes uh, your life easier when you do come across uh, these zombie dinosaur machines, guys. You would just uh, buy it, download it, burn it to a CD. Uh, now it is supported uh, to boot by USB, but once again, the whole thing is you have to know a little bit about computers, at least from my development standpoint. Um, a lot of the older computers cannot boot from USB. So uh, a lot of the times, uh, if you do have the old computer that still has a, you know, a, a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive, yeah, you're gonna probably prefer to, to do it that way um, because a lot of older systems just don't support booting from USB or doesn't work too well. Uh, so the best way is to use the CD version. So that's why I'm showing you that here. Uh, basically, you'll just follow the instructions. You'll download the software and burn it to a disk. Uh, then you'll take that disk. You'll put it in this computer that's not uh, not letting you get in with the password. And basically, you'll hit F12 or whatever the button is uh, to get to your boot menu or enter the BIOS here. And basically, you're just telling the computer to start or to boot from the CD that you put in here with the so special software, the Windows Geek software that removed the password. Uh, so you'll see it boots up here. You tell it to boot from the CD. Uh, then it's going to go through automatically uh, and remove all the passwords. Uh, so unlike some of the other solutions, you don't have to know any commands. Uh, you see right here, it just does everything for you. It detects everything for you. Uh, what it does is it removes the password of every single account uh, on that machine and unlocks the account. Uh, the unlocking is important because sometimes if you try the password too many times, uh, it's still not going to work. So sometimes if you have a, a you know maybe a different solution, some solutions might remove the password but may not unlock the account. 
uh, something you still wouldn't be able to lock in. So uh, this solution, it will unlock and remove the password for all accounts. Uh, then you're going to reboot again. Uh, basically take the disk out. You'll see this message here saying it's all done, it's all successful. And then you're going to reboot. And you should be able to see here that uh, we get in right away here. Uh, it just logs us straight in uh, to Windows here. We can enjoy the beauty of Windows XP. Uh, like I say, it's a blast from the past. Uh, it works super fast uh, as a VM. Um, one other thing as well, though, to recall, though, is that if you do have more than uh, one account, uh, it, it, it will ask you to choose the account. So if you only have one account on the machine, it will just log you right in at that point because there's no password on the account. If you have, like, you know, say two or more accounts, then it's going to be on the screen here where it's going to ask you to pick which account you want to log into. Once you do click that account, it's going to let you straight in and uh, you can go and uh, have your fun in Windows XP, guys. So I hope that's been a bit helpful um, and that it solves some of your problems out there when you do come across an old machine running XP. Uh, maybe this is another video I can talk about some of the migration projects I've been involved in in the past. Uh, there's a lot of options that you do have, even if you need to support XP. Uh, you know, you could run uh, XP on a virtual machine, migrate it into there, and you can, at that point, you can do a lot more, maybe to secure the network side and the OS side of things, just a little bit so it's not as crazy to run. Uh, obviously, it's not preferable, like I said, but you will run into maybe some situations where there's software that uh, this company might have and it's only available in Windows XP. Uh, you'll see that maybe sometimes they're running a solution where uh, the company's gone bankrupt. So there's just no other solution on the market. Uh, so it's running legacy uh, OS and hardware like this. Uh, so that's the fun that you might have out there, guys. Anyway, it's been RaveCS here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.